Okay, hello everyone! <laughs> it's Vavonic Zombie. Welcome to Forza. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Forza Motorsport 5. Now, just to let you guys know, I have not played a racing game since um, Cruising to USA. Forza Motorsport 5. Mm, okay. I have not played a racing game since Cruising USA on the N64, so. Cars. To this some, is new to me. They're just transport. <laughs> a convenient alternative to highly flammable dirigibles or walking. But you, you understand, cars are far more than this. They are our history. They mark the moments by which we define decades. Cars are some of the most intoxicating, most beautiful things ever forged by mankind. They represent the glory of technology, the essence of freedom, and have been the weapons in some of our most gripping sporting battles. They grip us, they cheer us on, they hold us up as heroes. So this is about the love of all things four-wheeled and fast. This is a shrine to power, speed, to metal made beautiful. This is where dreams are driven. Welcome to Forza. Forza, okay. In the celebration of all things four-wheeled and fast, we're heading to the cobblestone streets of Prague for a high-speed exhibition. Okay. All world yours crown jewel, don't worry about winning. Okay, so we can look inside the car. Now is your chance to explore the McLaren P1 up close. Open the door. Okay. Climb in. Start the car to begin the race. That's an interesting feature. <laughs> Sensitive controls, okay. Okay, so except for this one, don't not to worry about speed because this is the tutorial. Or don't worry about winning because it's the tutorial. Okay. Oops. Well, there goes my window. Okay. Hello, all the little people. <laughs> so far, this is very graphically impressive. Wow, that sun is bright. Mm. 
<laughs> I think I'm spinning out. As I said, I haven't played a racing game since um, Cruising USA on the N64, so all of this is very new to me. But even then, they had um, the controller would vibrate if you were on certain kinds of terrain, like you would go over sand or something like that. I didn't see what those stats on the side said. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. That race was only a taste of the journey ahead of you. As we continue, you will traverse an epic automobile. Okay. So if that was just a taste, that's probably a sign that I will break way more things <laughs> on the car than just a window. Okay. Home to a wide variety of cars, from vintage to sport to grand touring. Your career starts with the Modern Sport Compact mm. Championship Series. But before you choose your car, let's learn more about the group from BBC's Top Gear. Top Gear. I've never watched that show, by the way. Subaru <laughs> announced the arrival of their twins, GTA 8X and BRZ. World rejoiced. Here, were cars designed not to save the planet, nor to take your entire extended family to the seaside in a modular lounge environment. No. They were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight, skinny tired, rear drive, and affordable. This was the beginning of a new age for sporty motoring. Only it wasn't. If you looked hard enough, there have always been affordable cars designed to brighten up the day. Mazda especially is always provided for the enthusiastic driver. That's why it made the simple, wonderful MX-5 and the RX-8. The Honda S2000, meanwhile, is a complete screamer, and it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. Okay. Select your first car from this list and begin your career. So this all car that will take you through some of the best racing in the world. So choose the car that speaks to you. So all of that went right over my head. <laughs> Let's see. I think I prefer the Toyota. Okay. These are designs pulled for cloud, recommended just for you. As hmm. you use more designs, this list adapts to match your tastes. I'll go with this. A tribal. Let's see, free look. This car is free. Progress through your career, you earn credits if you use more cards. So this car, yeah. This, yes. <laughs> Didn't register the first time. This is your. This is your career home space. Come back here to access Forza Vita and customize your cars. Your first car takes you on a journey to the five of the world's great racing venues. Okay, so I have a feeling I have to win these races, or at least be decent in them, which will probably not happen. Just letting you guys know. Today, we venture to the snow captains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. Okay. Oh, that's a nice view. There are no AI drivers. Using Drivatar technology, you are always racing at real people with their real tendencies delivered from the cloud. Okay. That's not intimidating at all. <laughs> uh, Drivatar difficulty. You will paid bonus credits for taking on higher skilled drivatars. Turn up the difficulty to increase your earnings. 
Mm. New racer. Well, I'm a new racer. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's let's be let's go for average. Okay, starting grid assists. Uh, okay, so we still get credits even if we're dead last. I don't know how many cars are in this race, but when we get in tenth place, we still get credits. Okay, that's comforting. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Everybody's gonna kick my butt, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, I see everybody's game attacks. Okay, that's neat. Cheese it car. Ah. <laughs> Seems like an a family car. <laughs> oh, look at that view. I want to stare at it, but I don't want to crash. <laughs> I'm glad my driver is, is, is adjusting the gear shift because I am not. <laughs> Tunnel. I just looked at my speedometer, did not know it was going close to 100. Oh, nice Hope car. So we can see our places above where our names are. And I'm in 11th place according to this. Oh, cheesy car! Oops. <laughs> I think I broke something on his car. I wonder if we have to make repairs as we go along. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I'm in ninth. I'll probably quickly change. We'd love to see what this looks like from overhead, because it's probably hilarious. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I swear I'm not driving drunk. Yeah, so far, ah, what I've played in this game, it's really fun. As you guys can see, I'm not good at it, but it's a fun game. The graphics definitely help out with the appeal. Oh! Yep, now I can definitely tell these are actual people. <laughs> they got a head. Half a... One half of their car is torn up. Oh, wow, that sun is bright. That's another thing I learned about this game is that there are actual weather elements. Uh, probably, I'll probably crash and burn if we're on the track that where it's raining. Race complete. Where did I place? Time you race, you win credits and XE. Silver. Help you buy new cars and upgrades. I think I was in fifth place. I think that was the number that I saw. Every time your driver level increases, you are rewarded oh. with bonus credits. Nice. Okay, can we skip this? 
go. Okay. Your drive avatar is collecting data on how you race, how you pass, and how you hit each apex. After a few races, your drive avatar will be ready to go out into the community and race on your behalf. Oh, so this is what they were talking about how you can hire someone to race for you. And I guess for this they're like the the race um uh, the driver will mimic how you race. Okay. I don't want a long continue. Do not know how to pronounce that, but it's in Switzerland. Today we travel to Dunsfold, England, home of the hit TV show Top Gear and their famous Top Gear test track. Okay. 